If you're brand new to 3D printing, you may have not seen the really cool things that you can print in place in one go. Today we're going to dive into some of those things and then take something small developed by a really cool maker and see how big we can make it. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. What's up everybody? Welcome to The Edge of Tech, where we aim to educate and entertain the maker community. Like I said, today we're gonna take a item that was developed by a really cool maker, like this torture toaster right here, and then we're gonna see how big we can get it like this. Now these items are print in place. That means when they print, they actually print on the bed in one go, just like this. This torture toaster that was designed by Clockspring for the show Hot Mix, link in the description below, uh, is, is an awesome example of that. Now this prints in place, the flaps down like this, and this is a toaster. It has working toast when you're done, which is really fun. But not only that, it was designed to be a torture test for your 3D printer. So it has overhangs in here, it has different shapes and geometries, like I said, the toast should pop when you're done. It also has on this side a whole bunch of sliders with different tolerances right here. Now we've done a really cool promo feature for this torture toaster and I'll put that right here. But today, I don't want to talk about the torture toasters, I want to talk about all the cool stuff that can be printed in place. Then we're going to take a look at one specific item and then maybe explode it a little bit. Frag grenade out! Well, the printed place model means I take something like this torture toaster and it literally prints just like this all the way up. You don't have to assemble anything. You don't have to add anything to it. And when it's done, it usually performs a really cool function. I showed you this a minute ago. Another cool thing is this right here. This is another print by Clockspring. Uh, it actually has a functioning door with gears on the top. So you turn it and you can open this up prints in one place face down just like that. This is a really cool thing because it really tests the tolerance. Now Sven is amazing at testing his models before he sends them out. Uh, so a lot of times if your printer's dialed in, you're gonna be able to print his stuff. Uh, but I really love the functionality. You can flip the door, you can store some cool stuff in there, shut it in and there you go, you're good. No supports or anything, it just rock and rolls. Another thing from Clockspring is this really cool uh, roller van here. Now this prints face down like this and when you're done you have a van and the wheels actually roll. You can see like this. I did a whole video based around this roller van before but I really like this and my son really loves to roll this around as well. While all the stuff from Sven and Clockspring is absolutely awesome, his Patreon is totally worth it. Today I want to talk about a local maker. His name is Trent with Risto Designs and he designs some really cool stuff. He likes to take things that other people have maybe made or something that he sees that he really likes and then redesign it and design it himself in Fusion 360. One of the cool things that he did recently is this basket right here. Now this was featured in another video recently as well, but uh, this is a basket. It prints in place actually flat on your bed, just like this. And the cool thing about this is when you're done, you pop it open, and you actually have like a chainmail basket. Uh, the legs print separately. Normally you glue them on. I have not done that yet for purposes of this video, but I need to because they fall off if I drop stuff in it. You put it together, you have a sweet little basket. Maybe you have this sitting, take your phone or whatever you want, toss it in there. That's why you glue stuff, see? Let me try that again. So you take your phone and you uh, throw it in there like this. And if everything's glued together, it shouldn't fall apart like that. But this thing is designed so cool. You can grab the stuff out of your pocket, toss it right in here. Maybe it's on your dresser, on the counter, on their coffee table, whatever. And it's cool piece, man. I love this thing. But the really cool things about print in place items, such as the stuff from Clockspring, uh, this is a really cool chainmail piece, but a lot of it wouldn't be able to be made unless it was 3D printed because of how 3D printing prints by layers. For instance, this roller van actually prints the axles right inside there and it traps those axles in there so they don't fall out every time. And the only way you could have done this is 3D printing, which is so cool. And that's the kind of stuff that I absolutely love about 3D printing and 3D printers. But the purpose of this video is actually to show you something really cool that you can actually play with too. If you watched the 3D printing nerd Joel Telling's video about a year ago, he did a really cool thing with marbles and a, a little fidget thing. And that kind of took off a little bit and it stemmed into something like this. So this is what Trent designed kind of based around that, but he actually went into Fusion 360, designed this and how it works. And then what you do is you have your piece right here. It prints flat down like that in one go, right on your bed. You take uh, three marbles, 
you drop it in there and you can actually move it up and down on the table and it rotates the marbles around the piece. Now something to think about when you do these is you have to have your printer dialed in. I tried this on a couple different printers and I got a bunch of failures. Now my tolerances weren't good enough because my first layer wasn't good enough, so make sure your first layer is dialed in. If you have any issues with it fusing, like this one right here did, uh, and this one, and this one, you just have to dial in your first layer a little bit. Raise it up a little bit so it's not quite so squished to the bed, uh, and make sure it's nice and flat and even. And your stringing. If you have much stringing, that could cause you some issues too. So make sure you're dialed in and tuned, and then jump into your print and place models. So we've seen my failures in this, and it happens, you're gonna fail. I have so many torture toasters on printers that I'm just dialing in right out of the box and printing these right out of the gate just to see if it'll work and they don't. They're fused together, the sliders don't work, the toast breaks, it happens and it's gonna happen. But persistence is key. Once you're tuned and dialed in, you guys can do pretty much anything you want. As much as this is awesome, I think it's time to go bigger. Bam, this is bigger. This right here is designed to use golf balls. So we got this, we got three golf balls. Now printing something bigger like this is really cool because your tolerances don't have to be so tight. The bigger you go, the bigger gaps you're gonna have. So that's gonna be a little bit easier to print. Uh, but this is really cool. Now you can actually round and round and round, round and round and round. Now Joel stopped at marbles last year, but as he would say, we should go bigger. Bam, this is bigger. This is the original size of marbles, as you can see. This is the golf ball size. This, my friends, is tennis ball size. So we got a brand new thing of tennis balls. We're gonna pop that open. We're gonna dump uh, three tennis balls in there. And the really cool thing is, you can actually do this with tennis balls. Same motion, same really cool idea. It just shows you how you can scale these things up to make them bigger and bigger and bigger. If you wanna have some fun, grab some tennis balls, make something like this, and then have a little fun with your fidget spinners. Now, I wouldn't be doing this one in class or something like that because it's super loud. There's so much fun at home. It is so much fun to be able to scale things up uh, like we showed you earlier, this is a 100% torture toaster. This is like 275 or 300%, I can't remember, um, torture toaster. And, and uh, next to each other, you can see how much bigger this really is. Trent did a really cool job on this. He kept it fun, he kept it simple, and he did it all in Fusion 360. A lot of these print and place things are able to scale up super easy. Now this is all done in Coex Mystery Filament. Uh, the, the roll happened to be red, a red variant. So I did all three of these in the Coex Mystery. You probably see a little bit different shades because as the mystery goes, the shades change because they're transition rolls, which is kind of fun too. So I know a lot of you are probably saying, what's the point of this video? Well, the point of this video is that your printer, your 3D printer is an awesome tool. I just wanted to show off a really fun model done by a local designer and uh, how much fun I had taking this thing and making it Huge. So if you're brand new to 3D printing, stick with it, dial your machine in, take the time to do that in the beginning, and you can pretty much print anything you want, including any of these really cool print and place things. Sneak peek, I don't know if I'm supposed to show you this or not, but this is another cool thing he's designing. It uh, is marbles, they're all contained inside of the center here. You can drop them in like that, and then you can lift the whole outside, and it rotates them all the way up from the bottom, drops them through the center chute all the way down and it rotates them back up. It's kind of a really cool, fun way to check out the marble stairs. Um, we'll call them marble stairs, I like marble stairs. But it's a really fun print. He is in the middle of designing this now. This was a prototype he brought over just to show me. I'm sneaking it in this video. <laughs> he doesn't know that, so shh, don't tell him. But this is just another cool example of stuff that you can print in place. I mean, this thing is really tall. It uh, has a whole lot of those stairs going all the way up around it, and the motion is just really, really fun to watch. And the sound is really fun too. Well, I hope you guys learned something out of this video. If anything, it's where to get these really cool print in place models. Like I said, they're all in the description below. This is the reason uh, I have my printers. This is the reason I got a printer in the very beginning. So I, it just makes me smile to be able to grab a hold and, and move, you know, this giant thing of tennis balls around and around and around. 
Uh, anyways, check out the print and play stuff. It's so much fun, it's so cool. And let me know in the comments below what you have printed in place and what you plan to print in place. Before you go, I ask that you take one second, hit that like button below, maybe hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already. My goal in 2022 here is to get to 100,000 subscribers and I need you for that. So hit that subscribe button below and we'll see you on the next great video right here on the Edge of Tech. Keep printing.